Hello, hello everyone. I am really delighted to see you again today. Thank you for dropping by. I hope you are doing well. One of the greatest instruction that we received from Jesus is to love the Lord with our heart completely with all that we are. Love is the overall foundation theme of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the foundation of the faith that people will call Christianity is love because for God so loved he gave sadly I see more and more people who are inspired by hatred the stimulation the encouragement to veer towards that forceful hatred abhorrence detestation of other people is just getting worse in the world whether you know the person or not you just see people come hide especially on social media we see some of them brave on, on the street they're willing to attack a total stranger just because they do not have the same view as them too many people are inspired by hatred they are driven they are stared by hatred, intense hatred. That's not supposed to be. Because we're told in Matthew chapter 22, verse 39, after the first commandment to love God completely with all that we are, the second one is just like the first. You should love other people as much as you love yourself. This is so important. It was repeated in, in Mark chapter 12, verse 30 and 31. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second commandment is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. It is a commandment, an instruction, a directive to, that will guide our interactions with other people. But what have we got in the world today? Unimaginable levels of detestation, pure hatred that are mostly unnecessary, unfounded and baseless. People are stirred to detest those who do not, who they do not like or who are not like they are. It's okay to hate people who are not like you or because you do not like them. It is now a crime to just be yourself as you were created. There tends to be an unspoken law that one must acquiesce with everything everybody else dumps on him or her while that person's own rights are minimized or eroded. My friend, Jesus knew that your neighbor would look, act, behave, think and love differently than you do when he said for us to love that neighbor. He knew people who hold different ideologies, different faith beliefs, when he said, love them anyways. The whole point is about the differences we share, which help us to blend perfectly to create the beautiful tapestry of the world. But as individuals volunteer to be agents of forceful hatred towards others. The world continues to actively work towards its own implosion. We're told in Galatians chapter 5, verse 14, the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one commandment, love your neighbor as yourself. Love. It's all over the scripture. You can't love God if you do not love your neighbor, no matter how loudly and how long you scream empty words about what really, what the religion you worship takes. Of course, I'm not going to pretend that there exists, there do not exist folks who, who do hate themselves amongst us. Sadly, there is nothing I or anyone can do about such people. Yes, people do hate themselves. 
Only Jesus Christ can redeem them and help them to begin to love God, love themselves, and in turn, love other people. Whether you claim to be a Christian or belong to any other religion, if your actions are fueled by animosity for other people, you do not know God, let alone love and fear him. Are you inspired by hatred? It doesn't matter how justified you think that hatred is. Today we see a group of people being actively hated by majority in the world. And some people think that's okay. It's not okay. Hatred hasn't done the world any good. Never. I do not understand why that is. But I do understand that there are billions of people who now consider themselves as demigods who could do whatever they desire. However, only reckless, selfish, unreasonable, uncouth, uncivilized fellows would hold such thoughts. Can anyone show me, please, anything which hatred has positively achieved in any aspect of life? Being stimulated by hatred will only keep the world on this trajectory of self-destruction. Discard that hatred which is feasting on you from within, only to destroy you in the long run. Love your neighbor as yourself. It's not just a commandment that should be in the pages of a book. It's supposed to be a way of life. Yes, we will not agree with everyone all the time, but we can find a place in our hearts to love them just as God instructs. He will help us to live with those we disagree with and help us to love them anyways. That's my prayer, that God will help us to love as he recommends. Blessings.